Gordy was such a, a professional. I mean, he never missed practice. His love for the game uh, was equal to his ability to play the game. I remember we played in Indianapolis on a Friday night, Calgary on a Saturday uh, on a Saturday night, and Edmonton on a Sunday night. And then we were going back to Calgary to play on a Tuesday. So I thought there's no need to have a practice on Monday. I mean, we played three games in, in three nights. So I had the I, I said we're only going to take the guys that haven't played much and a couple of the injured players will practice, and put the rest. You can pack the rest of the bags and and uh, put them on the bus for the airport. So we practiced in the rink, which is about 200 yards away from the Edmonton rink, their practice rink. Mm-hmm. And you you go over in your equipment and put your skates on over there. I go over and there's how. And I said, what are you doing here? He says, well, it was practice, isn't it? I said, you know, I told you you had the day off. He says. I can't take a day off. I said, but where did where did you get your equipment? I said, I don't know. The trainers put it on the bench, so I just use somebody else's. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 Harry, the other thing was, we're, we're in this day and age, and you've been around long enough to see guys that they work out before the game, they work out after the game, they work out 12 months a year. We're, we're talking a person that, uh, I mean, how much was he in the weight room? And, and, uh, and how much of it was just, you know, good genes? Well, he, he, uh, we didn't have a weight room. We didn't have room for a weight room in the WHA, uh, unless you went at the coach's office, and that was a weight room. Uh, Gordy told me in Hartford at the first practice, because I'd sent all the players a letter in early August to say, do some running and get ready for training camp, because in those days you went to training camp to get in shape. You didn't worry about it before. And I said, because we're going to run a mile-and-a-half course before the first practice, and then we're going to practice again in the afternoon. And if you don't do any of that, you, you, you know, you're going to hurt. And my reason was I was trying to get them to do something to get ready. So we're standing in front of the rink in Glastonbury where we had training camp with Hartford. And Gordy comes up to me. We're all set there when I was a jogger in those days. And he says, you know, Harry, the only thing I ever did to get ready for the next season was to be within two pounds of the weight I finished the previous season. So I didn't, I didn't run or anything. I said, you, well, you don't have to run in this then. He says, what do you mean I don't have to run it? You're making every player do it, and you're telling me I don't have to? I says, yeah, just listen to me. I'll make a deal with you. So I'm in front of all the players, and I say, before we start, boys, <clears throat> I have an announcement. Gordy Howe does not have to do the run as part of the training camp, and I'm going to make a deal with all you yo-yos. If you play for me the year you turn 50, you don't have to run either. Now get the hell out of here. Gordy thanked me for two weeks for taking him off the hook. 